Hey everyone, uh, I want to show you something fun I've been working on. This is a chatbot in perspective that uses OpenAI and Langchain to communicate with a MySQL database. I'll show you real quick. This is the database that I'm communicating with. It just has a few tables in here for like invoices and artists and albums. It, it looks to be a business that sells music downloads or something like that. Right? So I can. Let me minimize this. I can ask my chatbot a question like, how many artists are there? And on the right, you're going to see the thought process going on by the chatbot. And then off to the left in my chat window, I have the answer now, 275 artists. Looks like I accidentally sent an empty message, but let's send, let's clear that. Let's send a more complicated question like, which customers have spent more than say $25 over their entire purchase history. And we'll send that. And we can see all of the thought process again. This time it's a much bigger output because it's looking at multiple tables. We got our output. And yeah, to me, this is really cool stuff. It's a lot of fun to work on and to experiment with. But I have to say it's not production ready by far. It's definitely not. There's a lot more that I'd want to improve on, making it more reliable. Because the more that you play around with it, the more that you're going to find that it really matters a lot how precise you are with your questions. And also, of course, the, the database that you're communicating with, it, the way that that's built can, can play a huge role as well. Without further ado, let's take a look at how it works. It's pretty simple. There's actually not a lot of code here. So I created a Flask application using Flask so that I can create this API endpoint and actually reach out to this application from within Ignition. It's using these Langchain libraries. Let me go ahead and open up the documentation for this. Langchain is a really cool framework for letting you utilize AI models and in this case, I'm utilizing them to connect to a SQL database. Uh, so this documentation here actually has a quick start where you can download the same sample database that I'm using, and you can go through and figure out how to get this all set up and connected and working as different cases for you to experiment with. And at the very bottom, it has some ideas for extending the SQL toolkit, essentially for making it more reliable uh, through some different methods. So feel free to explore that. I definitely will be learning a lot more about this in the near future and trying to make this a, more, a much more reliable application. The end goal would be to use it in production in, in some instance to be able to you know, ask your database questions just on the fly or maybe to ask for some kind of analysis based on historic data. You know, uh, So there's a lot of potential here. Really cool. Anyway, this is all of the Python that you got to write here besides this .env file where I'm storing my open API AI, uh, sorry, open AI API key. And then I'll show you in Ignition, I have a pretty simple setup here. I have this view for my chat window and this view here for my uh, chat instance. It's got some parameters for the message the way that I want to style it, the user and the user style. And then back on my chat window, I have on my send message button, here's where the magic's happening. And it looks like a lot, but really it's, it's just these, these instance objects here. You know, I'm creating one for my AI message. I'm creating one for my user message. And right here is where I'm actually reaching out to my chatbot API and sending the encoded question here. So I'm not going to go in depth on this one. Feel free to pause the video and go back and forward as much as you need to, you know, figure out what I'm doing here. Basically everything you see, that's all it is. So I hope that this video was helpful to you and piqued your curiosity. If you have any comments, questions, just drop a line below. And if you like this content, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because we'll be making a lot more. All right. We'll see you next time. Thanks.